Back for another Tuesday football Q&A with Nick Suke. Nick, tell me about the defense thus far. Through five, six games, excuse me. Talk about how the defense has played. Um, we felt we've, uh, you know, picked it up over the past couple games. Uh, we've played pretty well. Uh, obviously, we've, you know, recovered from not playing uh, up to our potential against Alabama. But, uh, you know, last game we were real happy with how the game, uh, you know, ended because, uh, you know, we felt we played four full quarters. You know, there wasn't a letdown. Uh, you know, there wasn't a bad drive or anything like that. We stuck together and did what we had to do. Talk about the turnovers. You've played a big role in, in forcing more turnovers, more interceptions. What's been the difference in that department? Um, I think we, we stress it in practice a lot. And, uh, you know, we know that we need to uh, help our team out in any way. And, you know, as far as field position goes or just creating turnovers, creating momentum. And so it's something we're definitely stressing. And I think we've done a better job of that over the past couple games. Let's get into some questions from the fans. Ben wants to know what's the heaviest weight you've ever lifted in the weight room. Um, I say it was last summer before I tore my pec. I maxed out at 390. We don't really max out, but uh, that's that's what it was. So I mean, that was that was my personal best. Talk about the effort that goes into being a Penn State football player in the weight room. A lot of people don't really see what's going on in the weight room during the off season. How difficult is it for a player? Um, I mean. It, it's difficult. Some players don't like to lift as much as others. Some don't like to run as much as others. You know, we, we run a lot. We lift a lot. But, uh, you know, I personally enjoy lifting. So, I mean, it's not something that, uh, you know, I go in there dreading or something like that. Uh, you just have to embrace it and know that you're going to uh, get better from it. So that's the me mentality you have to have going into it. Craig wants to know, excuse me, Matt wants to know, Nick, how does it feel when you lay a blowing hit on a receiver during a game? What's that feel like? Um, I mean, it, it's it's a good feeling. Uh, if the receiver drops it, it's a good feeling. If he catches on to it or he holds on to it, you know, he's, you're kind of wondering how he held on to it. But, uh, you know, some more power to him. But uh, it, it's definitely, you know, a good feeling. And, uh, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to, uh, you know, taunt or anything like that. But, uh, you know, it's a good feeling to celebrate. But, uh, you know, you got to move on to the next place still. But, uh, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, you just have to do in the secondary, to, you know, stay in the receiver's heads a little bit. Also, Matt wants to know a favorite NFL team. Um, I'd have to say the Steelers. I like the Steelers just because I'm from Pittsburgh. I've always liked them since I was growing up. But uh, I actually like the Ravens, too. It's kind of weird, you know, the biggest rivalries. But uh, I, I just like them, you know, Ed Reed and, you know, just their defense, the way it plays. So, uh, I mean, I, I like both of them. I'd have to say Steelers are my favorite team, though. Touched on Ed Reed. Is there any particular player in the NFL that you like to model your game after in, in the secondary? Um, no one in particular. I mean, it's really hard if you want to try and model your game after Ed Reed. He turns every interception into a, you know, a touchdown. So that's kind of hard. But I mean, it's always, uh, it's always fun to watch them and you know the good players and stuff like that. So there's little tips you can pick up here and there from them. Mike wants to know who calls the coverage on the field, Coach Bradley or Coach Bugs, or is it a combination? Um, Coach Bradley calls the defenses on the field, but uh, Coach Bugs is up in the box, and if he sees, you know, something the offense is doing, they're trying to take advantage of something, he'll, uh, you know, radio it down to uh, Coach Bradley, and, you know, they'll discuss it, and maybe we'll start switching things up. So uh, Coach Bugs is up there to, you know, see what see what's going wrong if something goes wrong. So, I mean, it's uh, you could say it's a little bit of both of them, but Coach Bradley has a final say on the calls. How much interaction do you have with Coach Bugs up in the booth during the game, if any? Um, I mean, if something happens on the field, we can uh, go to the sidelines and call up to him, or he can call down to us. So anytime we need to get a hold of him, we can get a hold of him. We need to talk about something, we can talk. So uh, it's it's pretty much like he's on the field if we need him. What type of coach is he on the practice field? Um, I mean, some days he can be you know real real intense and everything. Uh, we try and concentrate on the little details and stuff like that in practice. So uh, I mean, he's he's a great coach, and uh, you know we're trying to get better every day. Purdue's coming to town this weekend. Give me a couple of keys to the game based on what you've seen from the Boilermakers. Um, I'm not going to lie. I have not seen a whole lot of them yet. I'll watch more film throughout the week. But uh, the little bit that I have seen, they're real fast at the skill position. And, uh, you know, that could, could uh, create some problems for us. But uh, besides that, I have not seen a whole lot. You know, their quarterbacks are always good at Purdue. So, you know, that's definitely going to be, a, a, you know, a definite for them. So, Nick, best of luck this weekend. Thanks for talking to us. Check back again next Tuesday for two more Penn State football Q&As. As always, stay tuned to GoPSCSports.com throughout the week for extensive coverage leading up to Saturday's game against Purdue. For GoPSCSports.com, I'm Tony Mancuso.